Kenny, you got it wrong. Come to daddy. <laughs> Come to daddy. Come on, daddy. <laughs> I learned a lot about myself as a player and as a person. <laughs> and that's what I can take back from these three years when I was here. Whip to the far post, that's a good ball. And it's headed into the back of the net. Two nothing, Ike Parr for the second straight week. Strikes with the header. Honestly, like, yeah. and, and, and you know, leaving that aside, the group of guys, especially towards the, the latter frame, like Cronin, Linny, yeah. Gordo, you, Jay, like it was, yeah. That was that meant more than the soccer itself, the the the, the supporter shield, like for sure. Just being a part of guys that felt like misfits, you know what I mean? Because you have the cra yeah, you have yeah. the craziest underdog story in MLS history, and it's not even a debate. Like it, it, it probably isn't discussed enough. Yeah. Where you get traded first five years, six years, you, you play yeah. reserve game. Six you don't years, even. Yeah. You you get traded for Cam Weaver probably just because like Houston and San Jose were bored and it was like let's just make a trade. Let's, <laughs> let's just try something. Because Frank and Dom were bored. Yeah, That's like, like yeah, they probably did it over wine. Who knows, right? Like just I can only imagine how the whole trade went down. And then you come to our team because I was, yeah. And then it yeah, takes like, that, yeah. yeah, three guys that get injured before like the first or second game of the year. Yeah. And then you score and it's like, oh, well, you scored. Like you got to play again. A couple of other guys are still injured. You score again. Okay. Well, you play again. <laughs> score, score. Like you just kept going. And it's like, okay, is it, is it one of the guys who's, you know, I've seen you finish clinical, like yeah. real, like one of the better finishers you will ever see. But it's like, oh, it's always that uh, maybe it's a one-year wonder. Does it again. And then again. And then the national team. And then you go to a World Cup. And then you break the MLS goal-scoring record. And that's like, I don't think people understand unless they were a part <laughs> of the years of San Jose and before understanding, like, what you've done and how crazy it has been. Yeah. One, thank you. Like, that... <laughs> Cause it has, it's been crazy. And that's like one of those things where it hasn't like sunk into me. Yeah. So like, it's still just, well, until when it is in like about 12 months, like when it finally is done, I'll finally like sink in how, what their ride yeah. was. So you haven't like, looked at, at any point and been like, like out in training, like, damn, what I've uh, done has been crazy. Like, I don't know. I, you know, you probably were thinking about retirement if things didn't yeah. work out for you. Like, that's yeah. how little no, things were that, going well for yeah, you. Yeah, like, no, that, exactly. Like, like you said, like, we, we had an Open Cup game, and I got pulled at halftime. That was literally, so, like, we... Was that the year before? No, no, so it was that year. So, like, we played two games, didn't get in either games, and it happened to be... That was a, one of the years where you had to play MLS teams to play into the Open Cup. Okay. And that's when, like, guys got injured and, like, I get pulled at halftime. I'm thinking, bro, like, yeah. I must – I got to reevaluate. Like, I get pulled <laughs> at halftime, like, uh, right. you know, U.S. Open Cup game. This is – we lost some PKs to Salt Lake. And then – but guys got injured and then just kind of things went off. And – but it was one of those things where it – was unreal and it's crazy but that's why like all these little stories and all these times like all these people you like influenced it 